It has reached a governing deal with the Northern, Northern Irish DUP. So we're just uh, seeing pictures of uh, the Prime Minister with Arlene Foster, the leader of the DUP, a couple of minutes ago when they were signing that deal. So we'll get plenty more on that. We now need to understand by speaking uh, and calling the phones, of course, exactly what was in the deal. I mean, we're just waiting for the deal right now, right? We don't really know any more. Absolutely. And, uh, but it's most likely that these... The, both the Conservative Party and the DUP Party have very similar views on a lot of things, uh, pro, both uh, uh, pro-Brexit, um, so this kind of, to some extent, will be a meeting of minds, certainly no doubt a meeting of money that you'll see in future budgets as money flows to, uh, to Northern Ireland to, uh, to kind of maintain the DUP's support, which, as we talked about earlier, you know, is fragile. It doesn't uh, necessarily continue for, a, for yeah. a long time. We'll have to see the uh, contents of that document, though. Simon, let me ask the dumb American a question. Does this save the prime minister's tenure? Uh, it certainly helps her out. She's got this big vote uh, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, that she certainly needs to win. A defeat of the Queen's speech, uh, the legislative program we spoke about earlier, a defeat of that would be uh, uh, pretty bad for a, uh, a prime minister. Uh, so hopefully in her, to her, that this D, the DUP, uh, the 10 uh, lawmakers it brings to the party, uh, right. will will guide mm -hmm. her through that. And certainly, as Rupert from Blackrock pointed out earlier, uh, most likely, though, is that she gets through that vote and she's uh, still with us in a week and uh, she continues to, uh, to push on for a little while yet. Simon